NVIDIA is hosting an event next week that will have some GeForce Now news within it, Luna is going to be getting some new games as well as some new additions to the Prime channel, and a reminder about Stadia's shutdown. Today we're going to be breaking down the latest in the cloud gaming space, so let's dive right in and get to it. We're going to kick things off by talking about GeForce Now since it would be normally GFN Thursday today. Keyword being would be, that's because there is no update this week and instead we can look forward to January 5th's update after the holidays. That said, Nvidia hasn't been entirely quiet either, because they did just announce the Nvidia Special Address event that will be happening at CES this Tuesday, January 3rd. I'll put a link in the description to where you can find more information about the event itself, but key things you should know is that it starts at 8am Pacific Time, and that while GeForce Now will have a presence there, it's important to remember that this is a company-wide event, so expect more from Nvidia, not just GeForce Now alone. Truth is, is that I have no clue what's going to be announced there and how much info they're actually going to share, but I am pretty hyped to see it regardless. Nvidia has always been the type of company to really push tech forward and I'm curious to see what they have in the works for the new year. Either way, let me know your best guess as to what you think Nvidia might share regarding GeForce Now at the event. Will it be some big new games? Maybe hardware upgrades? Who knows? But now let's switch focus and talk Amazon Luna as they've announced two new games will be making their way to the Luna Plus channel in January. And those two titles are Yakuza Kiwami 2 and Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. Both games are pretty solid picks and make great additions to the Luna Plus channel. Though I gotta admit, only two new titles coming to Luna next month seems a bit disappointing. Hopefully we'll see some more games drop mid-month. Now if you have access to the Prime Gaming channel, January's games will include Beach Buggy Racing 2, Hot Wheels Edition, The Jackbox Party Pack 2, Monster Truck Championship, and Luminous Remastered. As a reminder, these four games will be available throughout the month as long as you're an Amazon Prime member, you don't have to be paying for Luna Plus. Oh, and of course, you need to live in the United States, hopefully that changes in 2023, fingers crossed. Now here toward the end, I want to talk about Google Stadia. This isn't so much news as it is a reminder. Google will be shutting down Stadia for good January 18th, 2023. That date is rapidly approaching and there are a few things I think you should be sure that you do before it happens. A. Make sure that all your refunds have processed, and if you haven't, make sure you have a backup of all the games and things you've purchased from Stadia. Google themselves have anticipated that most refunds will be processed by the January 18th deadline, but in case you haven't, it's good to know how much you should be expecting back. My recommendation is going to pay.google.com and tallying up all your purchases. I expect most people will experience a smooth refund process, but there are bound to be some outliers, so it's always good to be safe rather than sorry. The second important thing I recommend you do before Stadia shuts down is exporting all your data. To do this, simply go to takeout.google.com, scroll down until you see Stadia, and export that data. This will give you access to information like game activity, profile data, social data, captures, as well as even save data. Not all of it will transfer, but it's better to have it than not. And finally, the third and last thing you should do is make sure that all your Ubisoft games that you bought on Stadia have been added to your Ubisoft Connect account on PC. I have read some issues with people's Ubisoft Connect accounts not linking correctly and needing to reach out to Ubisoft support to get it fixed, and if this is your case, you should know and do it before it actually gets shut down. There's a very good chance that the Stadia service needs to be live for Ubisoft to get all your information from Google to give you the games that you own. After all, most of them will be available to play via Amazon Luna and GeForce Now if you're still interested in cloud gaming. Let's not forget that Luna is allowing you to play those games without a subscription to Luna Plus or the Ubisoft Plus channel as long as you're an Amazon Prime subscriber. And Ubisoft and GeForce Now have partnered up to give all people who bought or played Ubisoft games on Stadia a free month of priority tier to play it on GeForce Now. Either way, that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As a quick end of video message here, I just hope everybody's enjoying the holidays. I know I've been relaxing a bit, but I'm really pumped for this new year and to start uploading content that I hope you all enjoy watching. As always, thank you for your support. I hope you have a great day. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.